Hello, this is another episode of Prodigy Math Game, and today I'm going to be showing you how to light up all the all of box furnishes in Sherwood Trebouthens. Turns out when you end the mission, you only end with three lit up, these three. But, have you ever wondered how to get the fourth one lit up? It's not part of the mission, it's just for an extra challenge for you. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get this furnace lit up. So obviously you're gonna have to get another crystal. I'm gonna show you to where to find the crystal. Then you can come back here and insert it to light the furnace. So you better follow me if you wanna get the crystal. Now I'll show you how to light the fourth a furnace a box furnace in Shiver Tremontis. Okay, and to, and to do this, you have to complete all the missions or it will not work. This the area will, where you need to be will be only unlocked after you complete all the missions, okay? So first, complete all the missions, then you can go back for this further. So you come up here to this place called Treasure Room, and then you go to this, through this secret door right here. It's now open as you can see. You can actually go through it now. So what do you want to do? You want to finish battling this person. You want to go through that door first, after I come back. After you defeat the monster there, then go click on the door, and the door will open for you. You will go to this place called Real Ruins. Now what you want to do is you want to go over here to this gate right here. You're battling this guy. Now you want to go through the door on the left. Click on this black space over here between the pillars. And now go into this space. Keep following me if you want to find this crystal. Now you want to go over here. So you're going to have to battle the Arctic Law. Then go inside this cave thingy over here. Stars are selected. Again. Yep, and now you want to go over here to this black part I was talking about before. Go over here, inside this cave, caught in a place called Byram's Rest. Now you want to go up here, over here. So you have to battle these people until you get up there. Three monsters to battle, and then you'll go up there, and then they keep following me because the place is really near. So now if you defeat these monsters, like I said, now you go up here, this place right here, with the star up there, and now you will find some other place. This place right here, this cave, was closed until the missions were all over. So what you need to do now is you need to go into this cave after battling this monster right here. Okay, now you go into this cave, which is now open right here. And you will see this wizard. You know those people? You know those creepy looking eyes things? And they have that hood wrapped around them like those ghost things. You have to battle a wizard like that. And then you open this chest over here which is guarding it. After you battle that wizard, you will open the chest and you will receive the fourth gem of Shibucha Mountains. Obviously I have done that. There is nothing here. I've already opened it. Plus I already have it. So, thank you. Hopefully this video helped you. It was not a member anyway. You could do this however way you want. So, hopefully this helped you get the 4 gem. But actually, it should help you. So, now that you have the 4 gem, woohoo for you. Something you could show your friends or your classmates how to do if you're ever wondering if you get stuck. Tell everybody. Watch this video. It's interesting to see. Okay, thank you for watching and bye-bye.